the Trump administration imposed four rounds of additional tariffs on Chinese imports during the U.S. trade war with China in 2018 and 2019. Washington later exempted 549 categories of Chinese products from tariffs. Now, the Biden administration has decided to extend exemptions on 352 of them till the end of this year. The Chinese Commerce Ministry says the move is helpful, but all additional tariffs should be lifted. Washington has announced that it will reinstate tariff exemptions for 352 Chinese products. This decision will help with normal trade of those products. With high inflation and challenges facing the global economic recovery, we hope the U.S. will cancel all additional tariffs on Chinese goods as soon as possible to get bilateral trade back to normal. U.S.-China trade expert Dong Yan says Washington's actions show it cares about trade with China because it has continued its tariff exemption policy rather than imposing tariffs on all sorts of goods. It also shows that some Chinese products are irreplaceable and the U.S. prefers to cooperate with China in some areas. But Dong also points out that Washington does this for its own interests. Biden inherited Trump's trade policy on China and kept most of the additional tariffs for America's own interests. But his administration has also been very specific in its trade policy and has only exempted products that the U.S. most relies on. Dong says although the Biden administration has kept the big majority of additional tariffs imposed during the trade war, these exemptions show that the two countries' trade ties are hard to be totally decoupled. Despite all these ups and downs on bilateral trade ties, there are some Chinese products that U.S. companies and consumers still rely on. So if the U.S. imposes high tariffs on those goods, it will hurt themselves as well. So for the interests of American consumers and companies, it will be good to gradually decrease the tariffs. The two countries haven't reached the framework for the second phase of their trade deal, but it can be denied that their trade and economic interests are closely tied together.